Number 80. Which compound in each of the following pairs has the larger lattice energy? And then note, uh, Mg2 plus and Li plus have similar radii, and O2 minus and F minus have similar radii, and then we have to explain our choices. Okay, so we have Li2O and LiCl. Which one of these will have the larger lattice energy? Now just know that when it comes down to lattice energy, basically the amount of energy that's needed to break this ionic compound into the ions. There's only two things that really matter when it turns when it comes in terms to either raising your energy or lowering it. That has to do with the atomic radii of the ions in the ionic compound, and it also has to do with the electrons that are transferred. The more electrons that are transferred from one metal to another will increase the attraction and it will make it harder to pull that I, that um, ionic compound away. So it will increase the lattice energy. So in order to see what's going on here, let's just break down these ionic compounds into their charges. So Li2O is comprised of lithium and oxygen. Lithium is in group one, so that's a plus one charge. And oxygen is in group six or 16, so 6A, so that's a negative two. LiCl, this breaks down into well, Li plus one versus chlorine, that's part of the halogen group, that's a negative one charge. Now, when we're dealing with our ions here, you only have to worry about the ones that are different. If they both have lithium in them, that's not gonna do anything in terms of increasing or decreasing the lattice energy. So I don't even have to look at lithium anymore because that's the similarities between Li2O and LiCl. Now we're just down to seeing which one is going to raise the lattice energy, O2 minus or Cl minus? Well, we can use either one of these trends, right? I guess let's just look for the electrons transferred. Now, in this case, we have O2 minus and we have a Cl minus one. When oh, oxygen is in this ionic compound, this two minus means that it will receive, because negative means gain, that it's going to gain two electrons. So there had to have been two electrons that were transferred from the lithiums. Cl has a minus one charge, so this means that it's only going to gain one electron from the one lithium. And if you want to raise that lattice energy, you want to have more electrons transferred. The more electrons that are being transferred, right, the more electrons that are gained, the higher amount, the higher the lattice energy, and that's what we want. Two electrons are better than gaining one. So in this case, oxygen, since it gained two electrons, it gained, you know, it got, you know, uh, more electrons transferred, right? So we can say that. So more electrons transferred, and in this case, the more electrons transferred it gained two, that means that that compound, Li2O, is the one that has the larger lattice energy. Now, you can also try to do the um, other trend with the atomic radius and compare it between oxygen and chlorine. The smaller radius, closer attraction, higher the lattice energy. So you could see which one is smaller and see if you get the same answer as to which one will have the higher lattice energy. Um, but as far as this goes, that's the answer. Li2O will have the larger lattice energy. Thank you for coming here and checking out the video. Um, I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing all the videos or some of the videos on this channel. There's, I think, over, are we at 5,000? <laughs> I don't know. We're just pumping them out for you guys. My brother and I, we are so appreciative of all your kind comments and your support throughout this whole journey. So thank you so much for that. And I'll talk to you soon, okay? All right, bye-bye.